Ace four for four and a half big blinds. Shoving? Yeah. Get a snap call from our slogs. Bad news bears. Oh, we're ahead. For 670 chips, guys, we're ahead. Holy crap. Can we hold it? Welcome back to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. It is day number eight in a row. Coming at you hot. Uh, thank you guys for, so much for tuning in. The last two days have been a little bit weird because we had a surprise party yesterday. It went very well. That's going to be coming out of the vlogging channel very soon. It was an awesome party. You guys had a great time. Had a little bit too much of a great time. A little bit too much of a great time. So, today, not going to lie, I'm a little hungover, guys. I'm a little bit down in the dumps, but that's okay, because we're doing 30 days in a row. Sometimes you have dumpy days. So my plan today is to do some fun things. Not that it isn't normally fun, but like some extra fun things. Uh, I'm going to play a bit of 8 game, or try and get an 8 game session going up. There's two people sitting at $4, $8, 8 game. I'm going to hop in there, and if anyone is watching this and wants to play some 8 game, come play some 4, 8, 8 game with me. Uh, and then probably play a few spins for uh, a nice little afternoon session. So that's what's up, guys. That's what we're doing. Where's the table? Got it. Take a seat here and buy in for 200 bucks. See if Lance will play. Um, hopefully someone will hop in. I think it's $80 to 200 and it's a cap game as well. I need to turn off the HUD in a second. We're going to start with limit triple draw. And then up here, my girlfriend Rebecca is uh, got a nice stack in this 33.6 max progressive as well. So I'm sweating that a bit. She's in the money. She's got like $35 in bounties earned, so I'm watching that on the side. Probably play some spins, spin and go max, and Omaha spin, like a bunch of stuff like that, I think. It takes a lot of energy to play a game. Let's start with a $60 spin, actually. Just a straight-up vanilla spin and go. No max. And we'll see how we do. Sun Ye and Lactane. All right, we're playing for min 120 bucks. Not what we dreamed of, but it's fine. It's okay. So yeah, the party was really great, guys. We had some catering and stuff, and uh, the food was really good. Uh, I had a few dabbles, saved up some calories, had a few dabbles for sure. Maybe a one, two, three, four, maybe a five, six glasses of wine, a one, two shot of tequila or two, maybe a little mojito. Yeah, I got on it, man. I got on it a bit last night. Uh, everyone had a great time, though. Mirta, I think, had a great birthday. We're going out uh, again for dinner tonight and to the casino here in Tamarindo. I've never been before. I don't think they have a poker table. Or anything, but uh, we're celebrating because it was the day before her birthday yesterday. So today is her actual birthday. Still waiting for someone to sit in. Okay, we're gonna play. And we just get dealt basically the nuts. You're trying to make the lowest hand without straights, without flushes, uh, and pairs kind of get you as well. And eight, seven, five, three deuces the nuts. All right, let's disable HUD. Uh, they draw three. Let's bet. Draw one, stamp pat. Bet again. So it's four, eight, which means the first two rounds are two, four. Uh, and then the third draw and the river are not. All right, take that down, 219 bucks. Should we cash out? Just kidding. And do we raise the 9-8 offsuit? Yeah, I'm gonna go for a raise. Down here in the triple draw, we made it an eight perfect, eight, five, four, three deuce. That's the best eight you can have. So definitely worth a raise for value and definitely worth a value bet on the river. And a take it, 247 bucks. Now you play six rounds of each game. Uh, we're going to 3-bet here, 8, 6, 3, 4, draw 1, pick a 9, 8, uh, do I draw to improve the 9, 8, or do I bet? Well, it's too late if it was supposed to bet, alright, I'm going to draw to it, and it worked out, 8, 7, 6, although it's a minor improvement, uh, I'm going to 3-bet Pat, and they're disconnected, okay, not ideal. Open chest, you have 6, yeah, we'll open chest today, cool, and it goes Pat, Pat, I'm going to check, we have the worst 8 here. But heads up, the worst 8 could be good. They have a slightly better 8. They have an 8-6. I had an 8-7. So they scoop that pot. These are all nutted hands. We picked up really strong hands, heads up here. Deuce 4, 6, 8. Like, we're drawing to a 3, a 5, a 7 to make a really strong hand. Like, 3 or 5, particularly. Draw 1. Brick. But we're still ahead, right? They drew 3. We draw 1, so we're going to keep betting. Why I don't have spin and go? I don't know. Where are you? You don't have spin and go. I have spin and goes. All right, limit hold them. Let's raise up the queen eight offsuit. They both fold. Damn. Okay. Shit. Get rid of the HUD. Ace, deuce of clubs. Call. Uh, so this is limit hold'em. We're going to be doing a lot of calling. This is an awkward one, though, because <laughs> we can be pretty far behind, I think. All right. And uh, we get raised. I think just call. Check call again. We beat 10-9 now, which is pretty cool. 
All their 10-9 combinations. Let's check, check. All right, there's no low. They check the turn. I don't think they ever check the turn with a two. Therefore, our aces and twos are the best hand. Let's bet him and take him. I guess they could have 7-8 as well, but... All right, so we have trip fours. That's good. Trip fours is good. But there is a low draw out there. Bet again. Again, this is a split pot game. Half the pot to the best high hand, half the pot to the best low. This is bad news. They can have ace four, they can have jack four, they can have king four and beat us on all of those. Still think we gotta call down with a four. They have jacks full. I got. Oh, okay, just pick up the nuts again. Damn, why are we running hot? Oh, we get a walk. That's not running so hot. All right, Raz. Trying to make the lowest hand. The five card lowest hand wins. And the up cards are really important. Yeah, we'll complete here. I mean, we have a, an average hand, but like they have an average hand as well. Get re-raise, we call. They pick up a four, we pick up a nine. All right, now we are potentially two cards behind. Just folding. Let's go up to the spin again. We shove the king jack for 280. So you still try to answer everyone who talks to you. You're in better shape for sure. I'm glad to see the stream going strong. I know you put in a ton of work. I get an email every time you stream. Thanks, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm doing my best all the time. King Jack against Jack Five, we win. I didn't even see the sweat. Now we see shove for 700. We could almost scoop this thing right here. Right, because if they lose this pot, we're gonna call for another 530. We'd win 590, they'd have 110 left, and Sunny Ya has 180, so we'd have well over two thirds of the chip in play if we can hold, but uh, that is not gonna help us out. Jokes, chop it up, all right. I mean, we were winning on the turn with the aces and kings and a jack kicker. We were losing on the flop against two pair. And then on the river, we chop. It's a sick one. Queen nine, we just shove here for ten big blinds. Queen nine suited. Take it down. We are in the lead. Jack nine's going to be a fool. All right, we call. They unfortunately have a better ace, which is pretty crazy. They only had three big blinds. We hit the pair, though, running good. We're heads up against Lock Tan. Oh, from Slovakia, playing for 120 bucks. Long thinking of fold. We're going to limp call a shove here. But we see a check. And I think checking back is good with our bottom pair. There is a lot of bad cards. 10, 9, 8, ace, king. But I think if we bet, we just aren't accomplishing anything, you know? We're not protecting from enough things. And we're betting into a lot of better hands. Uh, we're opening up the opportunity for them to bluff us with a lot of draws. We don't want that. So we'll just check. We'll check again. Now a jack on the river. And they bet 65. Uh, I think we should probably call here. Jack makes it less like, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Check, check. Yeah, no, we'll call. It's close, right? Because we just have to think about what was their range for calling preflop. It's a lot of hands. Like, I don't know, 80% of hands or something like that. And they didn't bet until the river. So what's hands do that? Mm, you know, it's tough to say. Uh, we shove here for five and a half big blinds. We don't love it with queen five, but we do. Do you got a solution on why I can't play power up? I don't know where you're from. We call here with king nine. It's King Deuce. Can we hold it for 120 bucks in this spin and go? Ayo, let's go. Uh, taking it down, guys. Feels good. Okay, let's let's grind on with the eight game here, though. Let's play a little bit more eight game action. We are four handed right now. If anyone wants to play, all you got to do is log on to PokerStars, hop in. It's four dollars, eight dollars, but it's a little bit deceptive. You know, it's not as big of a game as you'd think. Uh, we're gonna call we do have the buried sevens here. There's a seven dead which doesn't help our hand But I still think it's worth calling against in a four-handed game call again on the turn I think we have a four we pick up an eight. Okay, so we pick up a three straight uh, Lance can be bluffing a decent amount. I think we should call here on fifth street as well Now we pick up a four straight and basically at this point when we call sixth street We pretty much have to call seven based on the price because they can so easily bluff assuming that we have a flush draw um, and just like bluff the river so like you know getting this insane price like six or seven to one I think we should do it and Lance checks on the river. Can we value bet our two pair? Yeah, I think so I think it's really likely Lance would have bet two pair. So I'm gonna go for a thin bet here on the river But they uh, have Jackson tens. So they made two pair on the river as well. Not ideal. We lose a small pot there Raise from the eight. We're gonna re-raise with our buried Queens Yo B car. What's up Rebecca in the house you guys? My girlfriend is sitting right here with 67000 in the 6 Max Turbo Progressive. $56 in the prize pool, plus like $33 or something in uh, in bounties. So, killing the game. Good luck, Rebecca. Ooh, two pair, but it's an action killing card. You know, they can see that I have aces and queens now. So, they just fold. All right. Mm, three, four, six, eight. Not the best around the world, but it's still pretty good. We can hit a 7-5 or a deuce. Deuce is the most powerful for sure. Call, draw one. 
pick up a 9-8, but they're also drawing one. I think we still want to draw to the 8-6. And then if we pick up a 9, we stand pat now. They pat, and now we have a tough spot. So basically, we have to call 8 to win 44 to maybe hit one of our outs. I think it's still the right play, but it's not fun. Let me draw a 6. Check, check, 9-7. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to raise this in limit. In no limit, I don't really like it, but in limit, probably a little bit wider. And check call and check raise turns. And they fold. Pick it up. Cool. 189. Ah, oh, do we raise king nine suited? Fold, and I think this is it. Yeah, we're going to sit out next hand. I was muted. Okay, well, here's the bad news. Picard out is sitting on 8,500. Sorry, Rebecca. That hurts. Uh, still alive in the tournament. 71 plus bounties, but in a tough spot now with 31 remaining. The next pay jump is at 23, so not really a thing. And we're going to play an Omaha Spin and Go. For the next hour or so, we're going to play uh, Omaha Spin and Go, regular Spin and Go, Spin and Go Max, which is my favorite. So probably going to fire more of the Spin and Go Max as opposed to the regular spins just because I find them more exciting. All right, we're in. And we were playing for 60 bucks in this $30 Omaha spin. Rebecca is sitting on three big blinds. Rebecca rally. All right, let's play this Omaha spin. And it's got antis, which is crazy. Crazy, we got antis. Mix it up. It's the name of the game, I guess. Uh, do we call? It's six to one. <laughs> really short. I think it's the right decision to call, but it is such a trashy hand. Basically trying to flop a deuce or like a straight, you know? If it was like... Ace 4 5 or something like that. If it came 10 10 X, stuff like that. Rebecca's all in, you guys. Rebecca is all in. Ace 5. Get there. Good game to Rebecca. Can we get a GG out, you guys? $71 in the prize pool plus like a solid 35 in bounties. So I can pot it to 88. That's probably the wrong decision, though. We'll just raise. We're not live live, we're on a four minute delay, but we are here, Tonk Muppet. We are here live. Okay, this is not a very good flop for Queens. There's 168 in the middle. I don't think betting is good. I don't think we have a good enough hand. Let's check. Okay, so we call. We have an open ender. There's a flush draw out there, but with 138 in the middle, I think playing this aggressively is probably good. So let's just uh, pot it and get it in. If someone gets it in, a fold fold would be ideal, but you know. All right, there we go. Sweet. We got a fold fold. That's what we wanted. Check 10, 8, 7. This is a nice one. We'll get in there. I don't think it's a spot where we want to pot it or anything. We're just so short that, like, if we get it in pre flop, we're slightly behind. So we flop a sort of rappy type thing. I mean, a 5, 7, 8, 10 would give us the best hand. Jack gives us more outs uh, as well, like more straight outs to a queen. Queen as well gives us uh, more outs. Six of diamonds of the turn is really bad. Pairs the board. None of the straight cards complete. I think I should check here. All right. We have jacks and sixes with a 10 kicker. No straights. We have close to a straight, but we can't use three cards. And they have the jack with the ace kicker. Seymour, drop of the sub using Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Seymour. Appreciate that, my friend. Welcome to Dreamers Inc. Can we get some love of the chat for Seymour? Appreciate it very much, dude. Thank you. All right, we flopped the same rappy thing. And uh, we have a 43%. Ooh, that's a great turn for us. No! That queen on the river gives them the straight. I yeah, you guys. Okay, so the tally right now, we won a $60 spin to be up 60, and we just lost the 30, so we're now only up 30. Let's, uh, I want to mix in a spin and go max. We haven't played one of those yet. I'm going to fire a $100. They're my favorite format that isn't tournament poker right now. I just find it fun. So I'm going to play a spin max, and we'll see how we do. There's a ton of variance in spin and go max. Like most of the time, you're going to be playing for less than $400, but worth it. $190, $190. There's still the big multipliers here. 190, 190, 520, and let's check out the lobby for this. It is winner take all. Winner take all. Here we go. Can we take the lead in the spinning, go? Um, I don't know which is better here. It's pretty close. I'm going to raise it up to 90. Get a call, okay? Not a very good flop for our hand. The bet, 75. 
And probably shove on jacks, on tens, uh, on queen, I guess, and definitely on an ace. Nine of clubs, I'm just going to check. It's definitely the argument for shoving preflop, the way this hand is played out. And ace four takes it. Dang. If I shove, do they call? Probably not. They probably just fold. We're quite short here. I, I think we'll probably finish this out before these hands are up, but who knows. Call. And they have a better hand, which really sucks. They shouldn't very often. Eight or king for the chop. King is good. Let's go. Here we go. One more time. Oh, we got him pipped this time. All right, chop. It's only fair. Chop it up. Okay, don't give them the win, though. Don't do that. Whew. Good stuff. 630. Now we're in a good spot here. We'll call a shove and we'll shove ourselves. But there's only five hands left, so we only have five hands to close this thing out, or else we're going to have the all-in flips at the end. All-in. Deceitful. Folds. Okay. 7-10. Cool. We need suited. Damn, this seems close to me for nine big blinds. No antes. They cover, and they're likely to call. I don't know the answer here. Limp with 9-8. And we're, like, really close to this being an all-in situation. Let's bet on the turn. It's really unlikely to me that they would check a jack on this board. They could have checked like 10-8. We blocked that. So we're going to have a three-way all-in flip, most likely. A7, king, queen. Let's just hit a king to get it to be heads up flipping. Let's do that. How about a little king? No. Okay. So we have the lead in this flip. If we lose, we still have another flip. If we win, we win the spin. So, I mean, we have the edge here for sure. But, I mean, it's a spin. Oh. This is literally the worst, the best case scenario possible. Wow, dead on the turn in the three-way flip. Let's go. All right, guys, so we have won the spin and go max. Run good. And we have to choose left, right, or center. Uh, chat is on the right side. I'm going to go left today. I'm going to go left. 190, come on. Oh, no, we got 190. Dang it. Ugh, okay, 90 bucks, though. 90 bucks profit there. So we are up 120. We're up 120 bucks, and I'm gonna play another one of these. Play another hundred dollar spin and go max. Free rolling it on the day. I like it. Uh, I missed the spin. The spin didn't work. What happened? 210, 180, 510. Okay, so we're 900 divided by three. First place is 300. So this time there's no second place. First place is 300. We're 200 under the 500 we put in here. Uh, we're gonna call for 70. Which is obviously not the best news. But of 80, I think we should call here back to flush shot, gut shot, ace high. Um, hey, turn it ace. This could be very fast. We'll see. Nice. That is not so nice. <laughs> Not the nicest river. All right. Well, we're up 20 bucks. Let's play another. Give me the spin this time. Give us a big multiplier. I don't think I've ever spun like a really big multiplier on spinning a max. I think I've only hit like, you know, just like just over the prize pool, basically. Nothing huge. Let's hit one, man. Let's hit one. Five handed. Okay. Bang. Bang. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, okay, that's fine. So we're at we're at a thousand here. I think the second place get paid something here. Yeah, so 170 for second place and then our equity for first place. So 170 plus 220 plus 600 990 divided by three Equity for first place is 330. So 330 plus 170. We basically have a break-even spin five people $500 in the prize pool. That's uh, what we've spun here. All right, Jack-10 suited. Call of a shove here, although it's close, but call. Call of a shove here for sure. Oh, we get a walk, so sick. And we fold ourselves. Uh, this one I don't think is gonna end. I think it's really unlikely that we end this tournament in the next 11 hands. Based on it being five-handed and uh, the amount of chips everyone has, like it's just, I think we're gonna have an all-in flip here. Uh, at the end. Now, it doesn't matter. Like, the all-in flip, there's no way to gain an edge on it. It's just a 50-50. So, like, basically the way that I look at it, we call for five big blinds. Your edge earning is over in the tournament when you get to the flip. It's like, all right, now we flip coins and see who wins the game. But, like, 
you should have been doing work throughout the spin and go to get to, you know, hopefully you ain't earned an edge over the 20 or 21 hands or whatever, how many it is. All right, guys, we bricked that one. We are down 80 bucks on the session. Let's try again. Couple rough ones in a row there. That's seven ball. Come on, that's seven ball, man. All right. What do we got? Six handed. Oh, nice. This is a big, big six max. Let's get something big here, guys. Let's spin a big one. That's really small. That's the smallest, I think. 630, okay, and 210. Not so great on this one. Uh, there's going to be a second place prize, though. Second place is 170, okay. Just gonna shove here. Take it down. Gonna shove the next hand, we'll fold. Oh, damn, okay. Oh, damn! Someone win it outright and get the double kapow. We'd love that, man. That is it right there. And yeah, Jax with the double knockout, Bluff Tun Cha. 17 hands left. <laughs> We're already down to four. That's pretty cool. Limp it in with the ace four suited. We get a quick check. So with a check here with a bottom pair. And call. Eight of clubs on the turn. It's a good card for us to call again, catch some bluffs. Uh, I like turning our hand into a bluff here. I think there's just a lot of scary card. Oh my god, we get a call from a worse hand. Holy crap, 4-6, called us off. Both the 3-4, that's pretty wild. Okay, we're in second place. Here we go, sevens against ace-three. Okay, let's keep it low. Let's keep it real low and non-diamondy. Bad news, bad news bears. That sucks. Running kind of bad in these so far. All right, can we come back to 370 chips, please? Please, come on, man. 370 chips, that's a lot. We're not dead at 370. There we go. Once again, second place gets paid here, so the bubble is at two. Ace four for four and a half big blinds. Shoving? Yeah. Get a snap call from our slogs. Bad news bears. Oh, we're ahead. For 670 chips, guys, we're ahead. Holy crap. Can we hold it? Let's go, you guys. Flush is good. We are three-handed. And we have the chip advantage on uh, second place. There's two hands to the all-in. We're probably, like, it's very likely we're going to get an all-in. I'm folding here, so we only have one hand left to play. Okay. Uh, we just don't want the king three to win. That would suck. Mm. The king three won, which means we get third place. It's too bad. Oh, never mind. We have 560 chips. We won the side pot. And we're ahead. Oh, no. No. All right, we don't win that one. We are out 10-9 scoops, so these two are still doing war. I think we're down 180 now. It could be 280, but I think it's 180. Ooh, 630. The smallest one, 150. That hurts. That hurts on a six-man, dude. Damn. Come on, eight-handed. Oh, no. I wanted eight-handed, man. All right, what do we got, guys? What do we got here? Bank. That's good. That's fine. That's not so great. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So again, it's the top two bubble. We make it 110 against Rabinator. I'm making it pretty small given the stacks and the lack of antis. There's uh, not a lot of incentive for them to call, so we have to make it pretty small there, I think. If there's antis, we make it a little bit bigger. If we're deep stacked, we make it all the way to 4x, maybe even a bit more, 4.5x. But 25 big blinds deep without antis, I think 2.8 is fine out of position there. Only 14 hands left. Everyone's still in this uh, max. It's not moving very quickly, this one. All right, let's let's throw a sneaky trap in here. Sneaky trap. Didn't go as planned. Call again. And call it down. With uh, everything bricking, they do just have a nine. But, like, all of the straight draws bricked there. The flush draws bricked. We do have the ace of hearts, but if they had the ace high flush draw, they'd be checking at some point anyways. They wouldn't be bluffing with it as much, so we don't have to think about that. Deuce and a four is such a brick. Uh, I think it's a good spot for us to call down. They just uh, have it. I guess we do have the queen of spades blocker, which does hurt my hand. I didn't really think about that at the time. All right. Now we, on average, have the best hand, so let's see. We don't this time. But we can flop the best hand. Turn the super best hand. And River the hold. Let's go. Oh my god. Here we go again to take the lead. To take the lead in this spin and go, which matters a lot. I mean, if we flip five-handed, we can lose and still be alive. That's pretty huge, you know? 
Like, if second place wins, we get second place, even though we lost. Last hand before the all-in, we fooled here. Unless C wins all, we're going to be in the lead, which really gives us a good shot to win first or second. But C wins all is going to rumble here. I think we actually want Partork to win. Because then we would be in the chip lead going into the flip. And it's pretty easy to get top two in that case. But uh, we are four-handed, okay? And we are not in the lead. We're in second place for 720. If C wins all wins this flip, then we get second place because we have the second most chips. Obviously, we should just win ourselves with hearts. We're actually ahead with Queen Deuce. Oh, we're ahead with Queen Deuce. Oh, we got him, you guys. Let's go. Big pot coming our way. We are heads up now against C wins all who has 290 left. So we could lose two flips and then basically be tied. So we need to lose three flips in a row to lose this. Okay, good start. Good turn. There we go, you guys. Okay, last time you told me middle chat, and middle was right. I'm going to go for middle again today, okay? I'm going to go for middle once again. See how we do. We're down 180 right now in the spinning gun maxes. Huh! Yeah, let's go! 530! We got another one, man. Woo! We're up months. That's good stuff, dude. 530 bucks. We make a nice profit. Uh, that's going to be it for this short afternoon hangover stream. Thank you guys for hanging out. I know it's not everyone's favorite uh, spin and go max. Eight game, PLO spin, normal spin. But uh, I like playing these sort of games, especially when I feel I'm not sharp. And I, I wasn't sharp enough to play some tournaments today. Ended up making a nice little profit. What did I say? 250 bucks? 250 bucks. Not bad. I'll take that, man. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Tomorrow, full tournament session. I think we're going to hit 100,000 followers tomorrow, uh, which is going to be insane. So can't believe that's real life, guys. Much love to you all, okay? I'm going to host someone else in the listing. Uh, thank you so much for watching the stream. But until tomorrow, we'll see you later.